Welcome back to Dirt Diesel Mechanic. Today we're going to go over how to do a diesel exhaust fluid quantity test in a DT13 Detroit engine using Diagnostic Link. Here's some of the things, this is the things we're going to be looking for to check and see if the uh, DEF nozzle is ejected enough depth into the after treatment system. And things you need to do to run the test. The key is on and the engine's off. The truck air, air tank should be above 100 PSI. The ambient temperature is greater than or equal to 100, 0 degrees Fahrenheit. DEF temperature is greater than or equal to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. DEF tank temperature is greater than or equal to 21 degrees Fahrenheit. And the, the test will run a, a duration is about four minutes long. I'm gonna show you how to remove the nozzle from the after treatment device and place the uh, nozzle in the, in the beaker turn the key on and engine off and how to connect to diagnostic link. Let's get the truck started and build up air pressure to 100 PSI before we move the DEF nozzle. Let's get that going right now. Build the air over 100 PSI as max as it can go because you will lose air while the dozer purges through the lines. This way we're going to move this nozzle after treatment dozer nozzle off the back of this after treatment system is right here. You have three mounting Tim Miller bullets. We're going to have to remove and we're going to have to remove this uh, line that goes to the manifold pump. Let's remove the nozzle right now. Two, three bolts. We're going to remove this line off because this nozzle is going to hit the fuel tank and there's not enough room without pulling this line off. And then we're going to reconnect it back on. The, no the line is, uh, is nine, 9 sixteenths. Nine sixteenths, we pull this line off. Pull the nozzle out and reconnect the line. We need the line connected to the test. And make sure the line is tightened. Nice and tight. So this is what I use. Is a, I use this measuring. You can buy these anywhere. Um, as long as it has milliliters up to 160 milliliters. As you can see, this one has 150 milliliters because the spec is, was a 108 to 135 is the spec. And you need that big milliliter uh, measuring thing. I use a plastic one. And you have to put the nozzle on there to catch the fluid. And I tape duct, I mean electrical tape around it to uh, so the thing doesn't move while I'm away. Um, there's all other ways you can do it, get this done, but this, I'm not. I usually put rags in it to cover it, but to show you what it looks like when it dozes, I'm gonna keep it open. So I put that inside the my container. I always use. They sell a kit, but I know you don't need that. It's unnecessary. I've seen a container, and I use electrical tape so it doesn't move. You gotta be kind of, uh, you know, use your imagination so it doesn't uh, move and keep it. Uh, you just gotta keep the fluid inside the container so, that, so you can collect it, so you can measure it, put cord into the other one. So I'm gonna cock here on this side, you can see right here, and just it works perfect. It helps around right the side. And now we're gonna go connect to. Diagnostic link, DDDL, diagnostic link. Takes a minute for it to upload. You see this active fault there. We're going to go to action. After treatment. DEF quantity test. It's up. We're just showing you going. It goes right there quantity test 
Now, we're going to have to push start. Remember this test takes four minutes. Four minutes for this test to run through. And you might have to do this three times to get an accurate reading. I recommend to do this test three times. And you need to make sure the air pressure in the in the truck is built up to, to 100 PSI each time you do the test. You need enough air to dose. As the test is running, you need to check the DEF air pressure, which needs to be between 18 to 29 PSI, as you can see it's in spec, and the DEF pressure, which is supposed to be to spec 66 to 72 PSI, which is at 68.09, which is in spec. As you see, it's still dozing. It takes over four minutes. And when it's finished, we'll, we'll take it apart, and we will dump it into the other beaker. You can see it's going to tell us that it's going to stop at the very top. We'll get the signal and you can see the pressure will stop and drop. See, it's a DF pressure system check stop and all the pressure will come down and you'll see it officially stop. Let's move, remove this and we'll put it in the other little tiny beaker and measure it. And pour it into this little tiny one. Remember you gotta do this three times to get an accurate reading and you wouldn't take an average. We're just doing this one one time one for one time and just remember when you're doing it, you gotta do it about three times. They recommend three times. Now we're going to pour this in this little beaker, and the spec is of depth is 102 to 135 milliliters of depth. Right now it's at 100 milliliters, but there was some air in the system, so that's why you got to do it three times to get a good, a good accurate reading. Thanks for watching, Dirty D.